Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the common names of some substituted benzenes. These common names have survived and serve sometimes as the parent names uh, for more complicated uh, aromatic compounds. Uh, I'm going to start with toluene. Uh, toluene is the common name for methyl benzene. And I'm just going to, to show a number of these uh, as I go uh, through them. I'm going to do, so after toluene, uh, the, the alcohol is called phenol. Um, in, fact, in fact, phenol is uh, the IUPAC preferred name. I don't know what you would call the, uh, I don't know what you would call that otherwise. The amine is called aniline, so instead of phenylamine, which is sort of the more IUPAC name, this, this can be called aniline. And then even some things like uh, the simple ethers, like the methyl ether is called anisole uh, because it has sort of an anise smell and, and so on. And um, let's just draw one more. This alkene is called styrene. So, it's a number, so if you've heard of polystyrene, it's made out of uh, this compound right here. And to give you an example of how these can be used to construct uh, the names of more complicated things, let's... Uh, draw something. So here I have aniline with a chlorine in it, and we number any of these starting at the functional group that gives them their name. So the, an the amine for aniline is in one, and the chlorine is at three. So this would be three chloro aniline, or perfectly uh, useful to call this meta chloro aniline. Uh, and of course, we can simplify that to M chloroaniline. So in addition to the five that I've got up there, there are also five uh, carbonyl compounds with uh, common names that have survived that I want you to know about. Starting with benzaldehyde. Whoops. Here. Come here, benzaldehyde label. The ketone is called uh, acetophenone. And so this, this compound has a little bit of a different name. Uh, Carboxylic acid is called benzoic acid. And in fact, benzoic acid is actually the progenitor uh, of all of these names because it was the first compound to be isolated. It was named after the, the gum benzoin, uh, the, the plant resin where it was found. The amide is called benzamide. Whoops, I want to delete this extra dot here. The um, nitrile is called benzonitrile. And then finally, if instead of, if you have a, a ketone with another aromatic ring up there, this is benzophenone. Numbering on benzophenone is a little bit interesting, uh, you know, just be able to tell the difference between the two rings. But uh, here it is benzophenone. In addition, it's worth noting that 
there are some dye substituted uh, benzenes that have specific names. For example, the dimethyl benzenes are named as xylenes. And so you can have orthoxylene, uh, metaxylene. and paraxylene. It's Eileen, and let me let me move my methyl group here. There are other uh, and so there are other dye substituted, for example, there are catechols and resorcinols and things with the alcohols and, and a number of other functional groups. And I just want to finish off with some of the polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons have names that continue to be used and popular because they are much more much easier to deal with than the IUPAC recommended names. So for example, this is naphthalene. And if you string three of them together, you have, uh, and I don't want to make mistakes, so if you just give me a moment. This is anthracene, uh, uh, and then there are other uh, isomers of these as well. In the next video, I'm going to introduce you to some common names of heterocycles. These are cyclic uh, compounds with oxygens, nitrogens, and other atoms, not just all carbon and hydrogen. Uh, and then we'll get into identifying aromatic rings that aren't benzene. Thank you for watching.